हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस टुडे डिस्कस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट 15 क्वेश्चंस फॉर नेट 2019 ऑफ चैप्टर माइक्रोब्स इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यीस्ट इज यूज्ड इन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड कर्ड इथाइल अल्कोहल चीज so the correct option is option number C, ethyl alcohol. Now this question is directly from NCRT. We know Saccharomyces cerevisiae is called brewer's yeast because it helps in preparation of ethyl alcohol. Now second question that can also be asked is that Saccharomyces cerevisiae is also known as baker's yeast because it is also used in preparation of bread. So Saccharomyces cerevisiae is brewer yeast also because it helps in preparation of ethyl alcohol and it is baker's yeast also because it helps in preparation of bread. Now let us look at the second question. Glucose fermentation in yeast yield option A ethanol plus CO2, option B ethanol plus water, Option C, methanol plus CO2. Option D, H2O plus CO2. The correct option is option A, ethanol plus CO2. Now, we know that fermentation is anaerobic breakdown of glucose. And in anaerobic breakdown, we obtain only two products that are ethanol and CO2. So, in glucose fermentation, we will obtain ethanol plus CO2 because it is anaerobic breakdown of glucose. Now, let us look at third question. Which is wrongly matched? Out of these four, we have to tell which is wrongly matched. Clostridium butylicum lipases, removal of stains. Trichoderma polysporum cyclosporin, immunosuppressive drug. Monascus purpurus statins lowering blood cholesterol, streptococcus streptokinase removal of clot from blood vessel. The correct option is option A. Clostridium butylicum does not produce lipase but it gives us butyric acid. Rest these three for your knowledge we can tell these are bioactive molecules. Trichoderma polysporum gives cyclosporin which is a immunosuppressive drug which is used in organ transplant patient. Monascus purpurus gives us statins which help in lowering blood cholesterol and streptokinase, streptococcus gives us streptokinase which helps in removal of clot from blood vessel. So streptokinase is used in patient with myocardial infarcation or heart attack. Question fourth is flock is Primary sludge produced in sewage treatment, a type of biofortified food, mesh structure formed by association of fungal and bacterial hyphae, or effluent in primary treatment obtained during sewage treatment. So the correct answer is option number C. We know that flocks are association of fungal and bacterial hyphae which are produced in aeration tank during secondary treatment. So this is a very important question that what are flocks? Flocks are meshwork of fungal and bacterial hyphae produced during secondary treatment. Now let us look at question fifth. Lactic acid bacteria increases nutritional content of milk by increasing vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin B12 or both A and C. The correct answer is vitamin B12. We know that lactobacillus it adds vitamin B12 in the milk and hence increases its nutritional content. This question is also directly from NCRT. And the second rule that lactic acid bacteria does is that it stops the growth of disease causing organisms. Now let us look at question number 6. Single cell proteins are microorganisms, enzymes, 
एंटीबायोटिक्स और टॉक्सिन्स द आंसर इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स नाउ वी नो दैट स्पायरुलिना व्हिच इज अ ब्लू ग्रीन एल्गी इज यूज्ड एज सिंगल सेल प्रोटीन सो इट इज अ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इट इज अ ब्लू ग्रीन एल्गी व्हिच कम्स अंडर मोनेरा kingdom monera so it is you single cell proteins are nothing but they are microorganisms this question is also directly from ncert now let us look at question number 7 supply of oxygen to biogas plant will have if we supply oxygen to biogas plant it will have positive effect negative effect no effect or none of these the answer would be that if we supply oxygen to biogas plant it will have negative effect this is because we know the organisms which produce biogas are methanogens so when they will act on the substrate these methanogens can only act under anaerobic condition so if there would be supplied oxygen methanogens would be killed and there would be no production of biogas now let us look at question number 8 which one is useful in rice field rhizobium clostridium anabena ferrobacterium the correct answer would be anabena why this answer is anabena because we know clostridium is a bacteria so this option is discarded rhizobium is a symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria but it does symbiotic symbiotic association with the roots of leguminous plant whereas anabena is a blue green algae which is capable of nitrogen fixation so this algae blue green algae is used in rice field because we know if we have learned we have learned in ncert that the blue green algae have specialized cells which are known as heterocysts which help in nitrogen fixation now let us look at question 9 which is wrongly matched detergent lipases alcohol nitrogenase textile amylase fruit juices pectinase the wrongly matched is alcohol nitrogenase we know nitrogenase is the enzyme which is involved in nitrogen fixation rest are correct we know that we add pectinases in fruit juices so that they appear clearer so that is why this is correct and lipases are used in detergent and amylases are used in textiles now let us look at question number 10 pasteurization is heating of liquid at 60 degree celsius heating solids at 65 degree celsius heating liquid between 60 to 80 degree celsius followed by rapid cooling or d none of these the answer would be answer would be b heating liquid between 60 to 80 followed by rapid cooling this process in which we heat liquid between 60 to 80 degree celsius followed by rapid cooling is known as pasteurization and it is used this process is used for sterilization of milk and it was given by louis pasteur now let us look at another question which one is a symbiotic nitrogen fixing plant pinus azola marchensia or moss the answer would be azola azola is also known as water fern which makes symbiotic nitrogen relationship with anabena that is a blue green algae which we have already discussed in question 8 so the symbiotic nitrogen fixing plant is azola which is called water fern and it makes symbiotic relationship with a blue green algae anabena now let us study question 12 probiotics are microorganisms enzymes antibiotics or toxins now this question may seem confusing but probiotics is another name of single cell protein 
So as we have already discussed in single cell protein, we have microorganisms like spirulina, blue green algae. So correct answer would be option A. Now let us discuss question 13. Which one is biofertilizer? NPK mixture, rhizobium in legume roots, rhizobium in farmyard manure or green manure? Now, how to answer this question? We know that NCRT says biofertilizer is always a living organism which increases the fertility of crop field. So, a living organism is rhizobium in leguminous roots. So, answer would be option B. Now, let us look at question 14. Viruses of genus Nucleopolyhedrovirus are employed as Gober gas producers, biological control agents, antibiotics, atmospheric nitrogen fixation. Now, if we have studied NCRT carefully, we know that Nucleopolyhedrovirus, they, in this Nucleopolyhedrovirus, we have Baculovirus. And Baculovirus is nothing but a biological control agent which is used against arthropods. Now, let us discuss question 15. Large hole in Swiss cheese are formed due to production of CO2 by. Now, this question is directly from NCRT. We know Swiss cheese has many holes due to bacteria, Propyne bacterium cheramini. And so, Swiss cheese has many holes. So, if you have gained something from this video, please subscribe now to my channel Ramji Chopra. Comment, like and share.